dresses, it'll make a lot more sense. So we're just going to start the tutorial now. One thing that you need to do is get the the Sig uh, Sig Maker DLL, which is a plugin for Ollie Debug. So as I said in the beginning, you need to get that, and you can get it from this address here, which I've put. Hopefully, I've put it in the description, and just download that and. If this address is dead, just look for SigMaker on all the debug online and you should find it. So all you have to do is, once you've downloaded, you come up with this folder. Open the folder, you'll see there's a DLL there, there's a README as well, have a read of it if you like. Open your Oli debug folder, the one you run, uh, you hack your Oli version on, and just go drag this and boom, drop it into there. If you can see here, I've already got mine in, so I won't copy it and this will be a plugin that we use to make our lives incredibly easier when we are searching for signatures um, well, that's pretty cool I didn't know that was there that doesn't even work what the fuck's the point of that fucking useless anyways so <clears throat> we've got that make sure you download that and put it in your uh, Oli debug folder and let's just get on with this so the first thing we're going to start off by doing is uh, getting the addresses uh, and the for the instructions so uh, open up Cheat Engine. I'm just going to open my version, which is 6.3. I recommend you use anything above version 6, and we should be fine. Um, and I want to uh, hook it onto acclient.exe. Okay, let's just do that. So we've hooked it onto the game, and we're going to use Ammo for our example on this tutorial here. So look for 20 first, uh, and scan a couple more times just to make sure we have it. Yep, that's it. And then we want to shoot a couple rounds. 18. Let's look for 18. I should probably only have. A, there we go. So pick any of these and just put some stupid value in there. That one wasn't the right one. That's probably the visual one. So we change this one instead. <coughs> Excuse me. So we change this one instead. And boom. And that's the one that gives us our ammo value. Fine. We're happy with that. So what we then do, uh, we need to find out what instruction writes to that address. So what instruction decreases our ammo? So right click on that find all rights to this address do you want to attach it, uh, the debug yes and then we leave that there and we take a couple of shots and as you can see uh, there's a decrement uh, that happens you may have multiple instructions here try and try them all and see which one works with this next step so as you can see this is what we were talking about earlier there's all these bytes here and you go FF0E57. Obviously, they correspond to each instruction here. Now, with a signature scan, we can choose, for example, this set of bytes and find out where this instruction is. So we say loop through our DLL's memory or our, our EXE's memory, our game's memory, and, and look for this set of instructions. So FF0E57, blah, blah, blah. And we search for all those instructions until we find what we want. Okay. And the beauty of that is every time you run your hack, you make those scans, you find each thing that you want, and you kill these instructions so that, for example, your health doesn't come down, your ammo doesn't come down, uh, or, or anything else you'd like. For example, you can do it for a recall and a bunch of other things. And like I said, when we do next week's or next time's tutorial, you'll see that uh, you, you can do so many things, you're, you're almost unlimited to what you can do with this. And it saves you having to look for multi-level pointers and all this other nonsense. So we have the, the instruction here, and let's just make sure this is the right one. So we right click on it, and we want to say, replace with code that does nothing. And as you can see, that will change the decrement to nope, two nopes, because that's equal to two bytes. So we take a shot, and guess what? Our ammo doesn't come down. So what we've given ourselves just now is unlimited ammo. Good stuff. So if we go here, right click, and restore original code. Fine. So we have the original code, and as you can see, it's two bytes, which is what we killed. So what we want to do now, is we want to open up Ollie. So we know that these are the bytes that we're looking for, and technically, technically we can make our signature scan from this, but we're going to use Ollie to make our lives much easier. So, first thing you want to do is right click here, go to address, and copy that address. So we're going to open up a notepad file, <coughs> excuse me, and, and post the, um, the address there. So, next thing we want to do is now that we've got our address and we know where it is right now. We want to go to, do, 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 what do we want to go to? We want to go to Cheat Engine and attach something else. Now, the reason why we're doing that is because we want to um, we want to make sure Oli Debug can be a bit buggy when you're attaching, when Cheat Engine is already attached. So we, we don't want to do that. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose anything else, like Google Chrome, for example. Choose anything, and yes, keep the addresses. We don't really care. And minimize Cheat Engine for now. So we have the address, and we want to run Ollie Debug. So I'm going to run my version of it, and make sure you run your Ollie. Uh, so you want to click File, Attach, and go to, 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 to acclient.exe. All right, that's fine, and let that attach. In your own sweet time. I'm not sure what the fuck happened there. Um, oh, I think my game crashed. This is not good. Uh, did the game crash? No, good. That's excellent. So I'm gonna make sure my recording software is still working. Uh, yep, I'm happy with that. Four six three. Do do do. Uh. Ch -ch -ch yep still recording here let's hide that for a second yep yep all right sorry just checking my recording software there is um thinking because the game sort of nearly crashed so anyways we now have all the debug open and we want to go searching for good old uh address that we've so paste that address on there search once search twice to make sure we get the right address and i i wrote here because this was from my last time that I was recording this tutorial uh, but all, all that that means is here's where our decrement function is and we can note that and it will uh, give us some limited rounds just as we did with cheat engine now what we want to do is if you've installed the signature scan <coughs> sorry uh, if you install the signature scan plugin you'll know that you can right click here and you'll see that make sig uh, function becomes available and you can go make sig and then you want to click test sig and select memory size too small couldn't assemble sig uh, so we leave that so what we want to do here obviously what we did there is we said oh actually select a tiny bit of memory and see if we can scan for it but the truth is there's probably um, a couple of hundred uh, ff0e instructions so we want to select a set of them because we want to say scan through all these and see if we can find our, our instructions so we go make sig test sig and as you can see all these results have been put here and all they've they've been done here they've done in such a, a, a such a way that we can um, it's basically C++ syntax and this is done so we can create an array of bytes here so we can scan and that's the beauty of this uh, of this function here and this plugin by Patrick is that it makes your life easier uh, when you're a bit more experienced you can start you can do this yourself it doesn't really matter uh, so we want to scan for that but uh, all this scan is doing is is exactly what our code is going to do. It's going to scan through the entire process of memory or the entire module's memory, which is the, the EXE in our example, and it's going to go, uh, where is this pattern of, of bytes, this array of bytes also uh, located? So right now it's found it here in our current position, and it's found it somewhere else as well. Now, ideally, uh, we, do, we want to make sure we get only one result every time we do this. Because multiple results uh, can eventually give you trouble. So you, the the best way to think about this is you you don't want to search for an address, uh, for example, uh, bullet decreasing address, and then uh, you end up finding something else that you decrement, and that crashes your game. You don't want to do that. So you want to make sure your pattern, uh, your array of bytes is giving you only one address. So we let's increase the range. So the the higher you increase the range, the less likely you are to get multiple things with the same thing. So, oh, guess what? We're still getting two. Well, that sucks. We'll try a couple more. Normally, you don't want to have too many addresses. And, oh, we're still getting two. Well, that's quite annoying. Um, and you do a couple more, and you can see that, oh, we only have one result. That's technically what we want. Now, I would normally not ever let sort of a signature of this size happen. So what we're going to do is something different instead. Um, Technically, we can store this signature and use it, but the problem with that is that it, it's a lot of code, and if we have a lot of uh, scans happening in our hack, then it'll make things probably slower. So, what I normally like to do is, if if it's giving me trouble after a, a set of results about this big, for example, I normally go, let's say, one or two instructions below. Okay, let's say I, I go two instructions below, so I know that my address is here, and I right-click, let's try it again. Oh, guess what? There's our result. Brilliant. And that's what we're looking for. And so what you can see here is that we can scan and we'll find this address now. But what what we want is 
uh, five bytes in front of it, which means all we need to do is scan, find that address, and then add the five bytes on top of that, which give, our, give us our address. It's quite simple stuff. So you normally want to have this as smallest amount possible. Uh, although, it, you know, it's not really a big deal if you have a small hack, but you normally just want to try and keep it of a, a small size generally. So what you want to do is you want to go select this whole thing, copy the signature. Now that we've got one result, that's brilliant. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna paste, uh, press enter a couple times, and that's our mask. Now, just to give you an overview of what this is, um, as you can see, the mask here is XXX, all this stuff. Now, and each X represents a solid value. So, um, for example, 8.9 is a solid value. So, 8.9 is that one, this one's 0A, and blah, blah. As you can see, each of these. So, what these are saying is, um, when we loop through our memory, we want to say, this value must be there, this value must be there, this value must be there. Now, if at any point one of these values isn't here, we say, we haven't found our address. Keep scanning. And we start from the beginning again. Now, for these addresses, question marks are for addresses that aren't a guaranteed thing. So addresses like, uh, f as you can see for this last instruction here, is calling a specific address. Now, that is very likely to change. Uh, every time we run the game, so we say question mark. So let's say we we scan through the addresses up to this one, and these all match. These four will be irrelevant because that will be ignored, that will be ignored, and that will be and and so on. And and that's really how it works. So as you can see here, if we look through all these, they will match these instructions up to this point. So zero times e eight. Let's have a look where that is. There it is, and that's really the end of that. The call is the last thing that gets pretty much referenced, and then um, these are all zero zeros because they are irrelevant ultimately. Okay, they are things that are very likely to change, and that's the beauty of Patrick's six scan. It tells us those things. After a while, you should be able to do this yourself, uh, but until then, just use use the scanner, and you will be fine. So we've got those two things, and let's also write down how far away the bytes are now. Although I've already said what 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 the distance is, let's. I'm just going to show you this because uh, you may need to use this yourself. Now, if you are not familiar with the Windows calculator in programmer mode, it's something you definitely should get into because of the, all the hex calculations you may need to do along the way. So we know that our instruction is here. Uh, so four six blah blah, and then uh, two seven nine, and we know that the one where we're starting is two seven four. So obviously all you just do is we can put the whole address but as you can see all numbers are exactly the same <coughs> excuse me all numbers are exactly the same uh, except for the last three or I guess the last two and you want to go oh shit the last one actually but it doesn't matter all you'd have to do is just go 9 minus 4 uh, but we're just gonna go 279 minus 274 and that will obviously give us our 5 and we know that once we found our address we add 5 onto that and that's our decrement instruction so that's good stuff so we've got everything we want we know that 5 bytes 5 bytes before okay that's fine oh shit I don't want to save that 5 bytes before happy with that um, and then we're good to go I think we've got pretty much everything uh, to um, get on with our code really. So we've got our array of bytes, we've got our mask, we know how far away the bytes are from our instruction. And we've got everything pretty much. So all we have to do now is, uh, you can just minimize all the debug, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> and we're going to get on with the coding now. So let's do that.